morning it's 6 30 and i'm going to work in a moment oh, it's really cold and misty outside but we'll make the best of it today will be a hard day i think because i think i have to stand or work all by myself on the group because my colleague is still in belgium so i have to do all the work myself so fingers crossed that this will go all right <laughs> because with so many kids it's pretty it's a pretty big responsibility of course so <sighs> yeah hopefully she'll be back tomorrow i'm back home and today i had to work on my own but everything went well of course <laughs> No, luckily. And today we are eating something traditionally Dutch. I never eat this, but it's called Boerkool met worst. And for me it's a veggie snitchel. Wednesday and it's my free day my day off of work for a change because I switched with a colleague she wanted to be free on Friday New Year's Eve and I decided to work until 5 because let's do her a favor uh, my throat is really sore actually but today we are going to the Amsterdam Bus, which is the forest here <laughs> um, it's all man-made when they're was a lack of jobs back in I don't know when let's find that out today um, and I'll show you around I'm singing I'm doing the dishes and Malcolm is singing to the birds <laughs> she's so, so cute Mookie okay. are you singing Christmas carols? Our tree is slowly falling apart. <laughs> have anything vegetarian in my liking or my taste so we are back from the park slash forest slash Amstramsables <laughs> and I'm making some soup or heating up some soup and then I'm going to do some groceries and just chill for a bit and then tomorrow I am going to mousse to the camper and um, clear out the water tank because I'm afraid it will fr freeze. Okay. I'm watching the show be here Emily in Paris. It's actually really bad. <laughs> I love it. We need to clear over.
Well, that ain't good. Good morning. I'm walking towards the tube station and then I'm going to my camper to drain the water tank. Um, because if it's going to be colder around February, <clears throat> oh, this cold, then I'm afraid it will freeze. So I have to drain it. But first, I'm going to my sister because I'm going to drink a cup of coffee there. She asked me to bring some olibollen, which, which is a Dutch thing, I think, olibollen. <laughs> but I don't have them here, so. Unfortunately. So I'm just draining the water tank here because I cannot move my camper of course but it told me it's alright because the water will eventually go into the water hole just a bit more over there and whew, it is some stinky water. Do you see this spot over here? Well, when I bought the camper, I thought, oh no, everything is leaking because there's a whole brand new water, I don't know, spot here in this wood. So I was like, oh, where is this coming from? And we found a leakage um, on, in the top part of the closet. But that, that has nothing to do with this really. So we thought, oh, how did this get there? Turns out, it's just a stain and it won't ever go away because now one and a half year or maybe a year later it's still there so <laughs> there was no leak well there was a leak which we discovered but nothing to do with this stain <laughs> hello and while we are talking about leak leaks in dennis's apartment oh nice angle let me switch this around Um, in Dennis's apartment, there's this huge leak and the landlord told him that he would stop by and eventually after texting him so many times, he did stop by. But this leak is insane. I will show you a video I took this morning. <clears throat> and there's even mushrooms or whatever growing from um, 
his window before we removed that one but now there's another one coming from the roof it's insane meanwhile i'm still doing this <laughs> and eating something for my sore throat but that leak is just insane and i don't get it you pay so much rent in amsterdam and then you expect a house to be good you know uh livable <laughs> if that's the correct word and this is just i don't know it's really bad for your health for your breath uh, for your breathing for your lungs everything so i hope they will fix it in january because this is you can, i can cope with this and now that i have a cold i really feel uh that it's affecting my lungs as well this bacteria that's all in the walls so if they are going to fix it we have to move our stuff to another room because there's no way we could sleep there when they are renovating it of course but i hope they will fix it in january good morning this is the last day of the year and i'm working <sighs> now i have to work until five and then I'm going to a party if I feel alright because I didn't feel so well yesterday. I have a stomach ache and uh, yeah, I don't know. So let's see what happens today. Put on some makeup because I also look a little bit pale. Um, yeah, but today I'm just going to work and then maybe have a party later or not. And then this will be a really, really boring vlog. <laughs> But yeah, some weeks are just not as exciting as others. So much garbage here everywhere. People, clean up your shit. Come on. Global warming is a thing, you know. I used to love listening to this crime junkie podcast, which I still love. But when I was in a camper all by myself, I didn't like listening to these crimes. <laughs> so now I started listening to audiobooks um, from a Dutch company and it's online bibliotheque. So the online library and it's perfect. I got off work, we ate some hamburgers, vegetarian ones of course. Now I'm listening to some music, you cannot hear it because I'm recording myself. And I put on some other clothes, some makeup. And Dance and I are going to his brother to have a small little get together for New Year's Eve of course. So let's go. some dresses online sorry for the way I look by the way but after yesterday I didn't really feel like doing anything <laughs> um, so I ordered some dresses online for summer slash uh, spring because I like long sleeved dresses 
um, but they were all too big and one of them was too small but I am going to keep this one it's a little bit too big but I think it's still cute As you know, I am Dutch, and my first language is Dutch, which you probably will hear in my uh, accent. <laughs> but the thing is that now that I'm back here in the Netherlands, I think the only the few people who see my videos are Dutch. And now that I'm not traveling, I won't meet as many people who only speak English. In the first place, I wanted to do this video thing also for myself, but also I wanted to show you around and show people maybe in Europe um, <clears throat> what it is to do fan life and I thought it would be easier if I do this in English well for me it's not a problem but I think now that I'm back here in Netherlands it's sometimes a bit weird that suddenly I switch to English when I grab my camera or my phone or whatever so I think that in the next video I'm going to test if um, I'm going to speak Dutch, so I'm going to test if people will still watch my videos or if you still like it if I speak Dutch in my videos. So it will be easier for myself to express myself and even though I think my English is pretty okay, pretty good actually, then uh, it would be easier to just express myself because certain things about the camper I just don't know in English of course uh, because of the mechanical stuff. I, I don't even know half of it in Dutch let alone in English. So I think my next video will be in Dutch and let me know what you think about this because I think most people who do watch are Dutch anyway. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's the last video of 2021 and I hope you have a lovely new year and you accomplish all your dreams and the things you see for yourself in this future. And of course, I hope I will do my fan life. I hope I will. will be. I hope I will continue my trip in March, and everything will be all right and a okay. Well, my next video will be in Dutch, and you know what to do, bro.